This morning started at 5 a.m. I wake up, get ready, and load my gear in the car, because we're headed to Joshua Tree. After a quick stop for some breakfast and some essential coffee, we hit the road for a two and a half hour drive. The further we go, the more the pavement and buildings peel away, and the desert grows. Some people find it hard to believe that a desert could be so beautiful and so spectacular, but it really is one of the most incredible places in the world. On this trip in particular, my friends Annie and Aaron of Stone Adventures have invited me out to the park to shoot some photos of them and their fellow guide, Alex, doing some rock climbing. After meeting up with everybody, I follow them deeper into the park where we get our gear ready and start the hike to the wall that we'll be climbing on. In addition to some climbing gear, I'll be bringing my D500, a 24 to 70 millimeter lens, a tripod, extra batteries, some memory cards, and a lot of water. I actually grew up not too far from here, and for the longest time, I couldn't understand the appeal. I mean, it's a desert. It's hot in the summer, it's cold in the winter. What else is there? It wasn't until I started to visit with a camera in my hand that I realized how amazing it really was. My first landscape that I was truly proud of was made in Joshua Tree. The closer we got to our destination, the thicker the cactus started to grow. What started as the odd plant here and there turned into a labyrinth of spikes that nobody made it through unscathed. But eventually our perseverance won out and I finally got to start taking some pictures. Now, shooting from the ground is fine at all, but you end up with a lot of shots that look a lot like this. Which honestly isn't all that bad, but let's face it, anyone can shoot that. For me, sometimes it takes a new perspective. Now, let me explain a few things while I'm getting set up here. I've spent more than a little time learning how to maneuver and stay safe while shooting from a rope from professional guides like Aaron and Annie. This isn't something I just picked up and tried, and neither should you. If this type of photography is something you'd like to do, my recommendation is find a reputable guide and hire them to show you the ropes, literally. What I'm doing here is using a few pieces of equipment to ascend a static rope. The other end of this rope is anchored in at the end of the climb high above me. Now, as exciting as this part was for me, it's pretty boring to watch, so let's go ahead and speed it up till I get to the top. Now at the top, Aaron helps me pull up my camera bag with all of my equipment, in addition to pulling the rope up out of the way and getting it out of the shot. Finally, everything's ready to start shooting. Unfortunately, before I left home, I forgot to clear off excess footage from the SD card in my GoPro, which means it's gonna run out of space right about now. I tried to use my phone to film a little bit more while I was shooting, but it just wasn't working out. So I'll leave you with my favorite image of the day and a thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.